You are certain you remember nothing of this place? Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. See a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Something is happening. Back to basics, then. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Reatha Sialfua, Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. Well, at least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you? Win-win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I am avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. And nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks of me. Back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. 
Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir. I think you've said enough. Ah. Right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still thinking, I take it? I am. Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. you in properly prepared this time. First, Valhalla requires you to perform the Ritual of Selection. Good. Now, let my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What do you know of this place? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effects. What have you to say? Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter, to fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course. But varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities. And Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back and see me as you progress. Step up ready. to the air. Gunnar, with me. Now you can enter Valhalla by this gate, without suffering the penalty of breaching. Thank you, Sigrun. So, this is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok and won it trying to save lives? With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life, that title, that throne. Aye. I suppose this is about how you remember Jotunheim, eh? I do agree with you about Frey's counsel. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How's that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all, an experienced leader. 
Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. That she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? And this must be how you remember Spartalfheim. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title. Regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do, there's power in words. Oaths. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible, but you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. Not permitted that way, it seems, and no way to pry it open. There. That is the path we seek. A way up and forward. Valhalla's inner reaches. I can feel it. If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without Atreus or a fight in front of you, I wonder after your well-being. Combat can be clarifying. back outside, but we didn't... you know. Sometimes you reach as far as you're ready to go. Valhalla's decision, or yours? Hmm. Does this mean you're done in there? No. I will discover who invited me. I believe I am close. You're sure it's worth dying for? Oh, I think we're fairly accustomed to dying at this point. Don't be glib, Mimir. Valhalla restores you after honorable death in combat, but beyond that, it makes its own rules, and if you don't play by them... Kratos, the threat of death in there is real. That is... good to know. If by good, you mean wildly disconcerting. I do wish you luck. Truly. Look, brother. The fog's lifted. Valhalla's becoming more open to you, perhaps. So much to see in the distance there. You can see how all the little realm spaces connect to the higher plane. And those statues are certainly imposing. I recognize them. They are judges of the underworld. From my homeland. Ah, well, you sound thrilled to see them again. Souls they deemed righteous were granted entrance to the Elysium Fields. Those deemed wicked were cast into Tartarus. Ah, yes, where the souls of the damned were tortured. Why has your mind manifested them here, I wonder? Ah, Midgard in memoriam. <laughs> ah, I'm starting to see there's no fixed order to the realms we'll visit here. Brother, whose voice was that we heard when Valhalla sent us back from the throne? You heard it also. Aye. Said he owes you a debt, was it? Someone who might lend us a hand, perhaps? Unlikely. He was a god of Greece, and we did not part on good terms. And by that you mean... Yes, I see. No shortage of bitter old ghosts in these parts. These parts being your memory, of course. Brother, that throne we saw, did you recognize it? Was it familiar? It was mine. The throne I took from Ares. 
It is a throne of monsters. Ah, the anxiety of power made manifest. A symbol you're no doubt meant to consider. It is a symbol I reject. That might not quite close the book on matters. A symbol can't be slain, destroyed, or ignored. The best measure is often to reclaim it, redefine it. Remind us it's not the throne, but the god who sits in it. <sighs> This is locked until we meet Valhalla's demands. Uh, must be another way out of here. Uh. Congratulations, old friend. You really are going places in Valhalla. Where's Mimir? Is that really all you have to say to me? After all this time, can't muster up so much as hello for one of your most auspicious victims? Hello, Helios. Where is Mumir? How should I know? Why don't we go look for him? Hmm. So, what's new with you, Kratos? Murdered any good pantheons lately? Devastated any populations with the cataclysmic consequences of your actions? Turned on any once trusted allies? You simply must bring me up to speed on your latest saga of blood-soaked vengeance. I am that no longer. You don't mean to say you've gone soft. Never believe it. Once a Spartan, always a Spartan. No, there's no fooling me, Kratos. You know what they say. You can't hide in the shadows from a sun god. At least, that's what they should say. <clears throat> say, the decor is looking a little more familiar, isn't it? A mighty chain. Auspicious sign. You've always had such luck with chains. This is all gonna work out just great for you. I can feel it. Oh, there it is. Home sweet home. Now this room must really take you back. Wasn't this the Chamber of Sacrifice? Where you let an Athenian soldier burn to a crisp just so you could get past the room? Oh, those madcap early days. How you must miss them. Hmm. What, what are you doing, Kratos? You mean to sacrifice me? Again? eye contact as you push me towards my demise. What a special little personal touch. Really lets me know where I stand. Especially after such a long and agonized deliberation over what to do. Oh, how reluctant you'll tell people you were to sacrifice me to the flame. I hate to disappoint you, you blithering idiot. But you do remember I'm a sun god, right? You think I'm afraid of a little fire? Don't threaten me with a good time, Kratos. Maybe I'll be infused with power and achieve my final form. Maybe I'll explode and take you with me. Let's just see what happens. Let's just see. Let's go! 
Okay, seriously, Kratos, get me out of this cage. It's not funny anymore. I can't believe you mean to roast me on a whim, on a presumption that it's what Valhalla wants from you. Have you ever considered that maybe your instincts are just random thoughts that pop into your head, no more likely to be true than the next? Hmm? Maybe consider that. Quickly! You're really just going to incinerate me and see what happens? I swear, you haven't changed one solitary... Brother? What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. Panic! We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so! I think you've broken how Valhalla works! Oh! I think this is it, brother! Let's get you out of here! Sigrun! Bob! You're burning! I'm not supposed to be here! Oh, Kari! Shaito! Look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigrun, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish, I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> My lady! Stop. You've seen me worse. I'm not sure about that, boss. Hush. It's nothing air can't heal. <coughs> this could take some time. Go on, Kratos. Get back in there. And do what you need to do. <coughs> Memory of Vanaheim now. Brother, I beg you not to remember the exploding plants. What did you say about a forest? You remember being elsewhere when Helios took your place? Aye! Yes, I didn't mention that while we were plummeting, but yes, I was in a forest, much like that of my youth. Back on my old body, too. It was a bit dreamlike, to be honest. Do you wish to return there? I can't say I don't. I'm concerned, but I'm more than curious. I guess my memories are fair game in here as well. Don't suppose they'll just stick to the pleasant ones, will they? Unlikely. Ah, we're up by those statues now. Judges, did you say? Perhaps the higher planes of Valhalla correspond to the deepest reaches of your memory. Hello, me again! If I must carry you, make yourself useful. Say what you see in battle. Aye, aye, asshole. Decisions, decisions. Ha 
<laughs> they locked you out. Guess we better poke around the old neighborhood. See what sorts of acquaintances are looking to reconnect. Heading back to the cage, are we? I guess Valhalla is giving you a second chance. Well, now it's a party. Here we are. Let's see what brilliant move you've thought of. Um, Kratos? <laughs> Surely you're not supposed to. You know what? I'd like to see this. yours I would have signed it but it was important you come here for your own reasons then you're not an illusion you're in the flesh old friend what do you want I know what you're wrestling with Spartan I understand it better than you realize the shame, the doubt, the question I could find no answer for until I came here, lifetimes ago, stepped through that door. What is in there? Oh, I'm not here to spoil that for you, only to help you prepare. Why? Because I can. Because for us, fighting occupies the body while our minds work out the rest. Because you're not ready. Yet. Show me. No! Oh, sorry! Why exactly are you attacking us? Consider it a kind of trial by combat, Amir. When Kratos can get the better of me, we'll know whose mind has done the work. Having fun yet? Well, I didn't catch you sleeping. Deficit upon his focus. He is impatient, emotional, easily surprised. A man at one with himself has a clearer mind, sharper instincts. That man is ready to win. That man is ready to progress. Find you! It's coming! Come on! I may have overreached for that one. 
Done, Kratos. I yield. Good then. Perhaps you are ready now. Am I? Honestly, nobody can truly say that but you. familiar scene to any that know your legend. A man at the crossroads of a fateful decision. Aye, you've spoken of this, brother. The pact you made with Ares, to stave off the barbarian war. The day I sold my soul to a god of war. Why show me this? Well, if I had to guess, probably to make you feel like the piece of shit you are. Is he necessary? He's no part of my design. He's either Valhalla's or yours. At least he hasn't replaced me again. Not yet, anyway. Seems a real charmer. A memory fragment of your time in all times. So, who was Kratos of Sparta the day you made your pledge to Ares? I was the youngest captain in the Spartan army. I had gained a reputation for my skills in combat, my command on the battlefield, but also my aggression. I was determined to never lose, and until then, never had. My men were loyal, fiercely so. How many Spartans did you command? Not enough that day. How many barbarians did you face? Thousands. I'm back! What a thriller! I must say, it's genuinely hard to think of anything stupider than pledging your soul to Ares of all people. I mean, any of Zeus's brood are bound to be garbage, present company by no means excluded. But Ares made a real art out of being vicious and depraved. Though, I suppose I can't begrudge you your role model. I see you still use the blades he gave you. Can you really say you regret a decision? and still keep benefiting from the trappings of that decision? I'm not sure, I'm just asking. You ever try to do the math on how many people die as a result of your little collaboration? Like contemplating the grains of sand on a beach, isn't it? Just overwhelm you, honestly. Enough. What is that? Looks like someone left you a party favor. Oh, and it's a symbolic totem of your shame. That's so thoughtful. Ah, now you've done it. You're being judged. And we all know your past actions wouldn't pass muster with anybody. Oh! 
Oh, I meant to ask. How did you like setting yourself on fire? Truly entertaining stuff. Sorry to miss how it ended up. I think maybe you still have some ash on your skin. Am I crazy? Well done, Kratos. deal with Ares than mere lust for power. Indeed. We are seldom compelled by singular drives. There is always more to the story. <laughs> I yield, Kratos. Very well. I believe you found an understanding within yourself. Shall we see? Pools. It's not only memories. Indeed. For what is a memory apart from our perspective on it? You know the evils that came of your path. You know the evils within yourself. Yes, these you dwell on. But it's not that simple, is it? The Horde is vast, brother. What would have happened if you didn't stop it? Our lands would have been overrun. Our people killed, violated. People your army was sworn to protect. An army led by you. 
Did you not feel a duty to fulfill your purpose? Did you not fear for the safety of your homeland? You saved them. You would excuse my actions? Excusing them is not the exercise, Kratos. Only accepting them. Accepting that you acted based on what you knew then, not on what was to come. Your motivation and their consequences are far more complicated than you let yourself believe. Hmm. I think perhaps you have more to process. Yes. I have much to think about. I will return. And I will be waiting. Yes. And look, I think Kratos may have survived that time. So it's Tyr's game you're playing? This is all his idea? A game is not his purpose. There is something here I must see through. And what is that exactly? A process. <sighs> all right. If it's helping, I trust you both. We all do. As we trust in Valhalla. Even after what it did to you? I knew the rules and chose to break them. I regret nothing. An infamous act. One they still spoke of in the years of rebuilding. I somehow doubted they meant it so little. I'll give you this, brother. Your technique has improved immeasurably. I needed his power to secure my vengeance against the gods. I believed I had no choice. No choice? You could have not ripped my head off my body. That was absolutely an option. And he's back. But that wasn't the worst of it, was it, Kratos? Killing me deprived Greece of the sun. They were plunged into perpetual cold and darkness. Crops ceased to grow. Famine descended on our homeland. Not that you cared. Enough. He is better, isn't he? Kratos, I'm curious. Your decision to behead Helios, was it fueled by any personal motivations? Or was it really just a means to an it was not personal. I did know him long before I killed him. He was as insufferable as any god. But his death brought me no satisfaction. Did you know what would happen as a result? When Helios was captured by the god of dreams, the lands fell into darkness and were not restored until his return. I knew exactly what would happen. And lest we forget Kratos, lest we neglect to place your deed in full and proper context, I saved your life. Me! And you literally tore off my head for my troubles. Imagine if all your new friends knew how you used to treat your old friends. Of course, you're not the same man, right? Now, you only get your friends killed through lack of foresight. Far easier to blame others that way, am I right? I know you are a projection of the mind. But for what it is worth, the death I gave you was unjust. Oh, how touching. Yeah, not actually worth the spittle it took to mumble that out. Do not do that again. Nobody wants to hear that from you. Helios, enough. <clears throat> A little something to remember by. I truly hope it brings you unrelenting torment. Chills you just.
just a little when they do that, doesn't it? Feels like judgment. Again, still not used to that. Kratos, I've been awaiting your return. I have another cherished weapon from my travels to show you. Ready to see? I yield, I yield. I don't think you are indifferent, Kratos. I think you were hurt. Deeply hurt. And you handled it unskillfully. Wait, is that you restoring the sun? You took Helios' chariot and put the sun back in the sky, but sacrificed yourself in the process. Yes. I fell to my death and was saved by Helios. But. This memory happened before I killed him. My evils were yet to come. What is the point? That your legacy has always been a complicated one. That goodness is not a destination we arrive at, but a practice. Misfortune may drive anyone to darkness. We resist it only through wisdom and vigilance. You are not so unskillful now as you were then. Better voices in your head you might call it. I think that's enough for now. You have much to contemplate. Yes. Back to the beach then. You should be proud of your progress, Kratos. See you soon. Uh, 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 Seems like you're making progress, whatever you're doing in there. Perhaps. Listen, I... know I made you feel like we expected more of you than you could give. And I just want you to know, I'm not asking you to change how you are or who you are. We had to break the old world to build a new one. Picking up the pieces and putting them together stronger, it's a rare opportunity. You made a difference here. In some circles, a symbol of change. On many days, just knowing that you're a part of the Council is enough. And other days? You've earned a voice. How you use it is up to you. A substitute daughter. A box full of evils. This one feels important. This is your blacksmith's story, isn't it? His girl was the key. And he died protecting her? Protecting her from me. I opened that box seeking the means to kill Ares. And what I released... Pretty much turned all the gods crazy. Thanks again for that. Quiet, Ed. Unfortunate. The time I spend in my own Valhalla means you get more time with him. Righteous haranguing about how evil the gods are, and you somehow gloss over that little extra nudge you gave them. Opening the box was Athena's plan. I did not know the consequences. You would claim ignorance of the consequences of trusting Athena? Is that your idea of a joke, Kratos? Because I admit it's hilarious. But let's be real, Kratos. 
Whether you should have suspected the consequences or not, you certainly can't claim that you would have cared about them. You wanted the power to kill Airwaves. And because you wanted it, everything is justified. That's your moral code at the end of the day, isn't it? To imagine you once again holding an office of solemn metaphysical responsibility. A trusted figure. A worshipped figure. The absolute gall of you to let yourself consider such a thing. I guess irony can have you when it earns you or something. Oh, how precious. I don't think you can be trusted to keep that safe at all. Pretty sure he agrees with me. Good to see you again, Kratos. I have one last weapon to show you. I think you'll enjoy it, if that's the word. Arms up! <laughs> 
we fought, I asked what was inside the box you opened. You told me fear, deceit, and hatred. Yes! Magnify what was already in the gods! But you know very well there's something else. <laughs> Defend yourself. On your left. <laughs> Your shield, brother! Use it, yeah? Come on! Right side! Back for the side! Be ready! Ready to win? Show me! Trust your instincts, Kratos! Boom, Hookson! Find you! Look out! Boom, Hookson! The last one is loyal! Arms up! Fight! Defend yourself! Stop, Kratos. I yield. Mm. Hard fought. Let's see what your mind has worked out. When the evils of the box were purged, what remained was hope which you chose to release back to the world. Yes. After everything, you came back full circle to sacrificing yourself. My death would have been just, but it was not to be. Yes, you lived, and hope still lived inside you from that day to this one. One might say you brought hope back to these realms after a long slumber. Box or no box, Kratos. Hope and fear and love and hate exist in every one of us. The question is, 
Which will you choose to let guide your actions? Each choice we make shapes our world. Mm. I see the truth of it. And? I believe I am ready to walk through that door. Excellent. No forgiving you. You chose! I missed everything. Did you find what you needed? Hmm. Glad to hear it, brother. Well done here, then. So, uh, what now? 
No. I believe I would like to sit here for a while. <laughs> 